Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these lacy summer shorts. So let's get started. I worked with Red Heart Super Saver yarn and a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Make a foundation chain that's long enough to wrap around your hips. And then I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. So now I have this long chain and it's joined to form a ring. So now I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and that takes the place of the first double crochet and a chain two space. I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, one, two, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. And lay your work down flat to make sure that you don't twist this band. And at the end of the row, I chained two, and I'm going to find the second stitch of that first chain four, and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to start the body of the shorts and I'm going to go to this first chain 2 space and I'm going to slip stitch and then I'm going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and that takes the place of the first double crochet and a chain 1 and I'm going to make a double crochet in that same chain 2 space and that's going to be my first V stitch. Now I'm going to go to the next chain 2 space and I'm going to make a V stitch which is a double crochet, chain 1 double crochet. Now in every chain 2 space across the row I'm going to make a V stitch which is a double crochet, chain 1, double crochet. Like that. Now go all the way around. Okay I worked all the way around. There's my last V stitch and I'm just going to come to the second stitch and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now slip stitch into the next space, chain two, one, two, and make two double crochet in that same space. Like that. Now going to the next V stitch and in that center opening make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Now in each V stitch all the way around, you're going to make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, so work all the way around, making three double crochet in the center of each V stitch. Okay, I worked all the way around, and this is my last shell, and then I'm going to come here to the top of this chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to make alternate rows of V stitch, three double crochet shell. So the next row is going to be a row of V stitch. So slip stitch into the center of that three double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the same stitch, and that's the first V stitch. Now go to the center stitch of the three double crochet and make a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So work all the way around making a V stitch in the center of each one of these three double crochet shells. Okay, I worked all the way around that row and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that chain three at the beginning. So I have the same row and now I'm going to make the row of three double crochet shells. So I'm going to slip stitch into the center of that V stitch, chain two, and make two additional double crochet in that same space. Now come over to the next V stitch, make three double crochet. One, two, and three. 
and you're going to work all the way across the row. Repeat these two rows for as many times as you need to get down to the crotch. Okay, I have worked a total of eight rows plus the waistband. And now I'm going to make the crotch. I'm just going to make these as low rise, but if you want to make them high waist, you simply just add more rows. Now there's my last stitch. My hook is still attached. So I folded them flat, and over here on this side, I added a marker. And I'm going to make the crotch. So now I'm just going to chain approximately five inches. So I've chained 18, and there's my mark. So now I'm going to bring this mark over here. And I'm going to slip stitch to join. Okay, so that will be the crotch extension. So I'm going to continue the same as I was before. I'm going to slip stitch into the center of the shell, and if it was a V-stitch, slip stitch into the center of the V-stitch, and I'm going to be making V-stitches for this row, so I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch. Go to the next shell in the center stitch, make a V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, like that. And I'm going to work all the way around, and then I'm just going to continue across here. So I'll work around, and then I'll come back and show you what to do here. Okay, I worked all the way around, and now I've gotten back to this extension. So I'm going to skip two stitches and make a V-stitch in the next. And I'm going to do that all the way across this chain. So skip two, make a V-stitch in the next. Skip two, V stitch. Like that. And to continue working across and slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that chain three. And then I'll make a row of the three double crochet. Okay, I worked all the way around. You can make the legs as long as you like. I'm going to do one more row of V stitch and one more row of the three double crochet shell. And then I'll do a fancy edge along the bottom. Okay, I've done an additional row. So for my legs, I've just got four rows. And here's where I slip stitched to join. So now I'm going to make a single crochet in the same place where I slip stitched to join. And then I'm going to go over to the next space between these shells and I'm going to work a decorative shell. I'm going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now I'm going to make a pico. One, two, three. And I'm going to slip stitch right back in the top of that double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one and make two more double crochet. One, chain one, double crochet. And that's what that's going to look like. And now I'm going to go all the way over to the next space and I'm going to make a single crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to go to the next space between the three double crochet shells and I'm going to make double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain three, slip stitch in the top of the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And I'm going to single crochet in the next space between the three double crochet shells. And that's what that looks like. And I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. And there's my last motif. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the very first single crochet that I made when I started the first motif. And fasten off. And there's how they look at this point. So now I'm going to start the other leg. Now I'm going to come back to where my uh, chain extension was. And you can join your yarn anywhere. I prefer to join it in the middle in one of the V-stitches. So I've just 
paste my hook in that V-stitch and I'm going to pull my yarn through lock it in by just taking one stitch with the two yarns another two chains because that's going to be a V-stitch here and in that same stitch make another double crochet so that's my first V-stitch and then I'm going to go to the next V-stitch and right in the base of that V-stitch I'm going to make another V-stitch like that so I'll work all the way around and I'll just do exactly the same thing as I did for this leg okay I have my shorts all finished I made the other leg and now here in this band at the waist you could either pass some elastic or some fabric or rip. I'm going to pass this torn fabric strip through like that and if you're not going to be wearing your shorts over a swimsuit you could line them by just inserting a pair of underwear on the inside like that and then just sew them on with a needle and thread you could sew them right below the waistband all the way around so there are the finished shorts and I'm going to put them on and show you how they look and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video you can find the free written pattern for this size which is adult medium on my blog and the link will be below this video thanks for watching bye for now